Welcome back to the adventures of the Florida Powerboat Club as we now rejoin our members for the 11th episode now in our series featuring the 29th annual Key West Poker Run staged in November of 2021. We are back in the studio to wrap up this series. Uh, Stu Jones here along with producer Ryan McCoy. So we are going to give you guys a fantastic showcase as we now all arrived in Key West, a town that knows how to have fun. So before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Our 2022 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats and their sister company, Deep Impact Custom Boats, and their authorized sales center, Plantation Boat Mart. Mystic Power Boats, Cigarette Racing Team, and their authorized sales center, Top Gun Yachts, Cigarette Dealer, Chief Marine Group, Midnight Express Power Boats, Big Thunder Marine, Concept Boats, Performance Boat Center, Mercury Racing, and Florida Powerboat Club's longest running sponsor, Nortec High Performance Boats. Additionally, we'd like to thank these Key West feature sponsors. There are 18 in all. It's with their support that we're able to create such a signature poker run event every year, and we thank them for their support. Well, everybody, that was your wake-up call for the day, and that means it's time to party, right, Jackie? <laughs> Jackie's uh, Poker Run Village is open. She's got a lot of merchandise to sell. As for our sponsors, well, they've got a lot of fiberglass to sell here at the Conk Republic Seafood Dock. Uh, and indeed, the top manufacturers on display. We had some coverage in our previous couple of episodes and got to talk to some of our sponsors and get a closer look at some of these boats that are on display. Of course, every year we jam them in here like sardines, and that's just uh, the way it goes here for the Key West Poker Run. And it's a casual vibe here on this Friday morning, so really it's the first day uh, that everybody is here in town as uh, looks like Captain Brian is hoisting his Seakeeper feather flags. But all the manufacturers are using this as a pivotal point really to not only show the boats off, but to get some of their potential buyers out for sea trials uh, to go out into the harbor. Now today's going to be a little bit difficult to do that unless you got an early start. And the reason for that is today is a race day. Remember, this is the same venue that we share with RWO, Race World Offshore, for their world championship races. And that explains a lot of the fanfare here, like these young ladies wearing their WHM tank tops. But that is going to be the activity for today. So the harbor will be closed for most of the day and it'll make it difficult for our club members to get out and really run around. In between races, there's a little bit of time to cruise around. But uh, meanwhile, that gives us more time here in the Poker Run Village, which was spectacular as always. And with Cigarette Racing being our presenting sponsor, they did a fabulous job with their booth. Had a big 42 Huntress on display. And it's not really a very big footprint, but somehow we managed to pack so many boats into this Poker Run Village every year. And all of the exhibitors really do a great job with their booths. And not to mention the Conk Republic Seafood Company with all their staffing and having bars set up. And of course, a lot of the locals uh, stopping by for their annual appearance at the Poker Run Village. And there are going to be a handful of teams that do want to get out and watch the races today. So they've got to get out early and get situated in the spectator fleet. Or if they just want to go for a cruise elsewhere, then they've just got to get out of Key West Harbor before it's actually closed. Here's a registered team that we haven't seen yet. This is uh, Wynn Farnsworth and his 80-foot Sunseeker Team 007. And when you've got a big 80 Sunseeker, this is surely the platform that you want to have to go out and watch the races. So you can have 15 or 20 or more people on board and throw an anchor and just be in a great position to watch the races. That's exactly what Jimmy Lee is doing in Team Christina his 72 foot Hatteras. He's got a lot of friends on board as they have every year. Geez, he's had this boat here for probably six or seven years in a row now. And certainly this is the ideal platform for what they're doing today uh, to go out on the water and just enjoy the day and have a great party. And we always like to break up the sponsor dock at some point just so we can do a reset and give everyone different positions. Uh, Donald and Don Haddon now pulling out in their 44-foot concept. Another huge center console with plenty of room for all your friends. And here's the boat we saw way back in Episode 4. Kent and Liz Anderson in Team Sundog, a 40-foot Sensation CCX. Triple Mercury Racing 450s. I'm guessing that uh, he's looking for a spot to tie up so he can take his crew on board and get out to watch the races. Well, as always, uh, we really don't feature any of the race coverage, so... We're going to jump ahead to Saturday morning because we really couldn't fly our helicopter anytime on Friday due to the races. 
and we want to get more of our aerial coverage of our teams in these episodes. So we've got Joe and Jerry flying with this R44 out of the Key West Airport. It is early on Saturday morning now. Perfect weather for aerial photo shoots, uh, light winds and calm seas. So we usually put Saturday morning aside for our sponsor photo shoots uh, before we start heading out to the Woman Key and to the raft up party, which is gonna happen a little later in the day, but we've got at least a couple hours to give some special love to our uh, Poker Run sponsors. And it looks like that will be Black Thunder power boats at this moment. Yes, indeed it is, two Black Thunders out. And just look at these conditions as they get things kicked off. Right here in the yellow boat, of course, is the 43 flat deck model, and it's powered by Mercury Racing 565s, two of them. And this crew ran down on the Wednesday run, so we haven't seen them for several episodes. Uh, but a beautiful boat that they reincarnated, uh, a boat really designed that came out in the late 90s. And I would have to say that the design really stood the test of time because, you know, even after the company, and to some degree, you know, a lot of manufacturers went into hibernation for a period of time, but Black Thunder was uh, brought back out with new ownership just a couple of years back, and now we're really enjoying these new creations from their factory, which is based in Hannibal, Missouri. And another 43-foot model, we've got Tim Doran on the boat today. Uh, this time it's the XT430 raised deck. And the difference really translates into a lot more freeboard in the cockpit area. Uh, but of course, a great big cabin down below with a six foot 10 of headroom. And that's about a full foot more than I need without banging my head on the ceiling. Well, that was a great way to kick off our Saturday aerial sponsor segments here in Key West. Special thanks to Black Thunder Power Boats and their team two years in a row now that they're back joining us for the Key West Poker Run. And we thank them for coming out to support the event. And time to join the Gabriels again. Sam the dad and Matt the son uh, enjoying this 2014 48 foot MTI Mercury Racing 1350s. They're from New Jersey and it's their second year in a row attending the Key West. We're catching up with longtime member George Ariano in this 42 foot fountain. It's a very rare poker run edition. They didn't build that many of these. This one's powered by Mercury Racing 700s. Staggered setup. This boat is built to go fast, and that's exactly what they're doing right now. And I'm not entirely sure if I was accurate in saying this boat has 700s, but in case I'm wrong, would somebody from George's crew please correct me, because I'd love to know. And here's another club member with a couple of boats registered. Uh, Chris Snow is in the Green Scarab, and uh, the owner of the boat, Michael Lawrence, is running his 39-foot Outer Limits. And they got out here early enough now to put on this great money shot running side-by-side. -side. The Green Boat, a completely restored 1988-34 Scarab Ninja, twin 510 Mercruisers with uh, 650 horsepower per side. And uh, the Outer Limits, of course, a little newer, a 2005 Outer Limits Quattro. It's got Mercury Racing 525s. Uh, together, between the two of them, these boats were trailered from Connecticut to join us. That's 1,500 miles each way. So thanks to this crew for going to all the effort to get here and be a part of this big event. 
I know that Michael's dying to push the throttles forward on that outer limit. Let's watch as he hammers the throttle. And it's always a big occasion for Bill and Meg Wiles who come to this event every year all the way from Texas. And I love telling the story about how Meg trailered the boat uh, the previous year and had some problems on the highway but somehow managed to fix the trailer herself. <laughs> and I noticed in their video bio that Meg hauled it again this year, 1,300 miles all the way from Texas. Joining them on the run is a Robin Star Ball all the way from Baltimore along with their daughter Kylie Wiles and her boyfriend Holden Snow. And everybody had a fantastic time. Well, you gotta love the sound of those Mercury Racing 1350s. Don and Kara McLeod from Indiana, team Gotta Go. And this is a boat that has been on this poker run many times, but I believe it's the first time that this team has brought it here and registered it for the Key West Poker Run. I see those arms going up. You know they're having a blast on this Outer Limits today. And nice segment now with a couple of skaters, starting out with uh, Don Doty and his first mate, Carol Ann Kent, on this Skater 426. We saw a lot of this boat back in episodes one through four because they ran on the Wednesday run. That's why you haven't seen them for the last six episodes. But here they are, running good, looking great. And across the other side is Boss Lady. It's a completely redone 52 skater, chopped down with the eliminated most of the bustle and they now call it a 46 it's got refreshed engines drives transmissions updated electronics a jamie borg interior and a crazy driver named jim lee at the helm So this is a uh, running five episodes now for the 426. Carol Ann, you said that uh, your boat got missed by the helicopter. Pretty sure we got some good stuff for you guys, so hope you enjoy it. And another look now at this uh, once a 52, now I'm a 46. Usually it's the other way around, guys. But uh, a great result, though, after a huge refit. Congratulations to Don Doty and uh, Jimmy Lee. We thought he was in the cockpit, but he's not. It's Captain Pete, and he's out on cruise control. And a little more time with Bob Lattice and his crew on this 42-foot MTI. Great looking boat. We saw quite a bit of it in a previous episode. They're out for their fun run today, heading for Woman Key. And now going to join Mark Stoddart, uh, one of our Canadian teams who's been on this run for well over 20 years. And that was often in Outer Limits. And then he did a few stints with MTIs. But now he's enjoying this cigarette 42-foot Huntress, 5 Mercury Racing, 400 Rs, custom paint, and a lot of features that you're not going to find on any other cigarette. Why? Well, that's because it was originally built and designed by Jim Schultz from Factory Billet.
And now catching up with this Nortec 390 Sport Triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. Indeed, it's David Racebeck's boat. I don't think David's on the boat. I think his son Bill is driving it right now. They've got a big plan for a party at Woman Key. They're going to be rendezvousing with the family Viking Sportfish Yachts. And I know for certain that that shapes up to be a pretty big party. We're going to have highlights from that in our next episode. Oh boy. <laughs> well, we promised you guys we'd uh, have a lot more of our FPC girls in these closing episodes. And sure enough, here is the lovely Lauren, who is now on her second adventure with the Florida Powerboat Club. We met her back at the Tampa Bay Poker Run a little earlier in the year, and now she is back for Key West. And down at the Poker Run Village, Lauren was given her choice of boat to, to be photographed on, and she chose this brand new MTI 390X, which was brought down by the factory team. Uh, Randy Sism and Taylor Sism. So let's enjoy. Well, let me begin by saying you're welcome, guys, for all this bling and beauty. And that's exactly what uh, we're getting from the beautiful Lauren, as well as all these really cool boats in the backdrop. Special thank you to Lauren. I hope we have her back for another event soon. And back out on the waterways now as we catch up with Steve Smith from Kentucky. Team Going Deep is a 369 Deep Impact triple Merc 400s and got a big crew on board starting with his first mate Alyssa they're joined by Mike and Shannon Medley uh, Mark and Kateri Voigt Bruce and Sharice and I believe that they've got the professor and Marianne joining them too on a three hour cruise oh and I love just getting with this boat Chris Pierrick and his 52 foot MTI Mercury Racing 1350s and he always puts on a great show let's just let him rip here and I'm sure you'll all love this And Johan Andersson is a long way from home in Sweden, where they say it's not easy being green, but apparently green is a very popular color there <laughs> back in Sweden. He's got a Nortec 390 Sport with Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs, color-matched engine cowlings to match that bright green on the hull sides. And it looks like he's just identified that the chopper is catching up, so he's like, nope, this is a race. <laughs> Let's get on it. <laughs> it's a helicopter race. <laughs> and away he goes. And another Nortec, this time it's the factory entry with the factory man himself, Tron Scow, at the helm. This brand new 46-foot flyer with a completely new redo. This time it's got a fixed hard top and open bow seating. It's awesome. And it's another one of our many New Jersey entries, Del Flores and his 36-foot statement cat, Spartan Powerboat Club. That is the name of the club that does poker runs in the New Jersey area. 
He's having a blast today, looking great, and really enjoying this boat, which he purchased for himself as his 50th birthday present. He loves going on this run. He had a lot of nice things to say about it. He said Stu and Jackie and their top-notch staff did a great job. He said the hard work and the sweat shows, and he can't wait for his next FPC event. So, Dell, do I sweat that much, really? Is it that obvious? And here's a team that joins us for Key West every year. It's uh, Derek Wachov's 34 Black Diamond Express. I don't think that Derek is at the helm because he's usually driving the big boat, the 52. Uh, but whoever is driving it, they're, they're getting some solo time today because whenever they're out there, it's always you know three or four boats running together, and they all kind of share the spotlight. But uh, And then the 52 takes off, and the helicopter goes after them. So Black Diamond Express, you're getting the love today. And a nice show from Tracy and Tanya Mock and this big 50-foot Marauder Triple Mercury Racing 1075. It doesn't get much louder than that, guys. But it looks like uh, Tracy's got the boat on cruise control right now, heading out to Woman Key. Not driving it as hard or as fast as they'd like to. I'm guessing that they're just uh, saving their equipment because they got a long trip back on Monday, 200 miles back to South Florida. And here's another club member who has a couple of boats to enjoy his boating lifestyle. He has a Nortuck back at home, but here's his uh, brand new MTI 390X. It's his first poker run with this boat. He says he's loving it. Beautiful graphics with color matched uh, engine cowlings on those Mercury Racing 450s. I know that Bill could be hammering it right now and going about 110, but I think he doesn't have a lot of seat time in the boat, so he's just on cruise control. And another Canadian entry in another boat that stayed in the club, Chris Mastronardi from Canada done this event many many times in this 48 foot mti which is new to him uh, but he purchased it from another club member recently so we see this boat back here in key west again i would say that chris is a loyal key west veteran he's attended this event for over 20 years And it's Jake Nossiman from Oklahoma in his brand new 50-foot MTI, five Mercury Racing 450Rs, beautiful graphics. In fact, I fell in love with this boat at the Emerald Coast Poker Run the first time I saw it, and we decided to put him in the 2022 calendar in the month of February. You know, it seems like that new 50 just came out like less than a year ago, but somehow five of them made it onto the Key West registration roster. I thought that was truly amazing. And we saw a little bit of this statement in a previous episode. This is Kevin Controne all the way from Maryland in his 38-foot statement, k6autos.com. It was a great showing for the St. Petersburg Builder. Altogether, 10 statements were registered for the event. And now catching up with Steve Hirsch and his first mate all the way from New York in this 38-foot cigarette Top Gun. Powered by Mercury Racing 525s, an 07 model that he purchased new and did a lot of poker runs with it back then. Then he kind of got out of the scene for quite some time. So it's nice to see that Steve is back. And look at the great conditions we have for this beautiful photo shoot today with the early day low sun. The graphics and the reflections on that Top Gun are just fantastic. And a really impressive statistic about Cigarette was that there's 36 of them registered for this run. The oldest being 1992 and the newest being 2022. So 30 years of cigarette represented on this roster. And now it's uh, Jesse and Stephanie Newman are going to give us a little love here in their 50 foot Nortec called the 500 Sport. And Team Dirty Money has been a lot of places already. They've gone to the Bahamas and back, but kind of doing a factory thing, a little favor for Trond and Niels today, bringing this 50 out for this uh, manufacturer photo shoot. 
And this is really the ideal opportunity to take a really great look at this amazing 50. And uh, you can see just how nice the lines are, how nicely laid out the boat is. A lot of seating uh, for everybody forward and aft. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of these 50s on our runs in the future. And it's another Nortec. Looks like a 390 Sport uh, Quad Mercury Racing 400Rs on this one. Beautiful graphics, a bright red. Can't identify the boat without a decal, but uh, it is a Nortec, so we left it in and hope they register next year. And it's one more time with Todd and Heidi Ann Chartier from Michigan with their brand new MTI 390X Team Scaredy Cat. Their other boat is a Nortec Center console, but for this poker run, they were in the mood for a little cat play. And it's another Deep Impact 399, once again with James and Sonia Redding, Team La Mexicana. At some point this morning, I think we got all of the Deep Impacts together for a photo shoot. I don't believe it was arranged with our FPC photo and video crew, so we're not going to be able to share that with you here on this episode. And it's John Tamino from New Jersey in his brand new Mystic 42, Triple Mercury Racing 450 yards, beautiful blue and black graphics with a little silver highlights. What a beautiful ride and a good representation for Mystic Power Boats. That was some great footage overall and that's gonna wrap up our aerial segment for this episode. Let's get back to the Poker Run Village and backtrack to Friday night when we had our sponsor appreciation party, giving out awards to all of our sponsors. Our first sponsor appreciation goes to Tommy Hofstetter from Chief Marine Group. They are a cigarette racing dealer in Isla Mirada and opening up their new marina and will eventually be a boutique hotel. But they had a big participation uh, providing us with facilities for the poker run. They registered at least three boats to attend and brought an entire crew here. David Landsman and Leslie Puentes from the factory at Midnight Express were there to receive their special appreciation award. Not only are they a Key West sponsor, they're also a 2021 series sponsor for the entire year. They attended in this 43 Open, which has become one of their most popular models, and we have a lot of these in the club. And Outer Limits had returned as a factory sponsor once again. On display at the Poker Run Village was a brand new SV50 powered by Mercury Racing 1550s, along with the new showstopper, this SC37 outboard catamaran powered by Mercury Racing 450s which was also on display at the Poker Run Village. And the Roger Dubuis Watch Company from Switzerland came down to join us for their very first time. They had a display in the Poker Run Village, and there's Ricardo accepting the award. He came down from New York to join us. Roger Dubuis, no rules, our game. Marine Concept Motorsports returned for their second year to the Key West Poker Run. They had a really great display in the Poker Run Village, including their custom boat covers, a Renegade Powerboat Center Console, and a customized DEFCO hauler. And John Lewis from Hullover Marine Center joined us once again. They've been a sponsor for many years now. In addition to storing uh, dozens and dozens of our Florida Powerboat Club member boats here at their facility in North Miami, they also are a staging location for the Poker Run, not just the Key West Poker Run, but several other events. Currently, Hullover Park is under major renovations, including boat ramp and parking modifications, so most of the poker run staging here for the 2022 event will be limited to haulover storage customers. And representing their own dealership, Legend Marine, as well as Nortec High Performance Boats, our factory sponsor, is Greg Cannell from Legend Marine, along with his salesman, Craig Salazar. They attended the event in this Nortec 390 Sport with Quad Mercury Racing 400s. And they displayed a beautiful 340 Sport in the poker run village. And obviously Mercury Racing on hand as they are every year with their mobile display unit. Kevin Skiba on the right, Nick Peterson on the left, accepting the Sponsor Appreciation Award. And we can expect to see Mercury Racing back for the 2022 event where we'll be launching a new trade partnership that features a pair of Mercury Racing 565 stern drives going into the FPC cigarette pace boat. And Eric Avila represented Concept Boats from Miami. They had a beautiful brand new Concept 4400 on display that belonged to Don and Donald Haddon. 
They took delivery of the boat back in the Emerald Coast Poker Run in August, and it was on display at the Key West Poker Run Village Sponsor Dock. And a very special award to Nick Buckman on the right and Captain Brian Molinex on the left. Uh, they together attended in their Seakeeper sponsored 28 foot Blue Water Center console. They ran the entire course from Miami to Key West and they were one of our safety management boats. Thanks guys. And we welcome back Scott Price and the entire team from Harden Marine. They returned with their big 53 foot race rig, fully stocked with custom marine parts and a lot of bling engines, headers, tabs, lights, all kinds of parts for doing refits and rebuilds. Something for everyone who wants to customize their high performance boat. And Plantation Boat Mart had the entire crew on board. Only person missing was the boss man, Dennis Della Torre. They had good representation here on this event as dealers for Deep Impact and for Blackwater Boats right at the Poker Run Village sponsored dock. And a special award went to Bryce Morrison and his wife for their mom water sponsorship. This is vodka infused water without the bubbles and it comes in many flavors. They donated several cases which we gave out as prizes to our winners. And a very special thank you to our friends at the Conk Republic Seafood Company. This is Casey Arnold, our event manager who takes care of all the details of setting up this venue for us every year. They did a fantastic job for such a huge event with 270 boats and over a thousand registered guests. This waterfront restaurant is located in the heart of the historic Seaport District. They offer an incredible menu with fresh seafood every day in this open air restaurant with live entertainment daily. And did I mention that the Conquer Public Seafood Company is party central for the Key West Poker Run and has been our headquarters since 1999. Well, guys, I don't know about you, but this has been a fantastic episode with a lot of cool stuff, awesome power boats, fun-loving people, and some pretty FPC girls. It's all right here with the Florida Power Boat Club. And, guys, you can't afford to miss another episode because we have got one more episode to go with feature coverage of the 2021 edition of the Key West Poker Run. So stay right here. Make sure you like this episode, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Power Boat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.